have a wonderful gentleman guest from Family Services of Peel, Tom Tranafello, who is the Manager of Community Supports Program and is here to tell us all about our, his organization, what they do, and their role in our community. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. One of the things we're passionate here on Making Our Seniors Matter uh, is that we look at every topic holistically. Yeah. Your organization is a great fit for this conversation because it is very holistic. Can you just speak uh, briefly to the holistic nature of the services you provide? Because I don't know that a lot of our listeners really understand just how diverse those services are. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, let me just try and remember all the services <laughs> yeah. that we do provide. We, we provide counseling, family, individual, and couple counseling. Uh, we provide supported employment programs for people with disabilities. We provide employment programs just to the general public. We provide supports um, to people with developmental disabilities. And certainly, you know, our Peel Elder Abuse Prevention Program, which is a case management program, provides supports and services to, to seniors. Um, we also provide programs to youth. Uh, we have Family Duty Council for families that we have partnered with them. Legal Aid Ontario, and again, that's something that you know we're really trying to get out there because, given the cost and given the uncertainty mm -hmm. and the complexity of family matters, right, we're very proud to to, to have that partnership um, with Legal Aid Ontario. Uh, it's been a wonderful partnership. It has certainly helped families around family matters. What other programs do we have? Um, well, one of the things that I think we love about what we're here, and I'm sure you'll agree, Liz, is that the intergenerational impact on seniors um, is huge. And we want to nurture positive intergenerational relationships. And all of, like you said, the uncertainty in our lives and the changes that have occurred places a lot of strain on seniors and on their caregivers. And so this is a resource for the entire family, which is what yes. we talk about here yes. on the show. Absolutely. And, and, and I, I really do like the idea, and I'm very passionate about a very holistic approach. And as we had talked a little bit earlier before I we went on the air, for me the holistic approach really translates into looking at quality of life, right? And, I, and I'm, a, I'm a very passionate believer that quality of life can be very well defined in terms of you know, different domains, and there are about eight domains that I look at. And when you bring those all together and you, and you, and you focus on those eight domains and you ensure that families and individuals you know, are participating and involved positively and are connected in all those eight domains, whether you're a senior or, or whether you're youth, right? Uh, your quality of life um, is going to is certainly going to improve. You're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to feel more valued about yourself. And this is where I think, if, you know, if you were to ask me in terms of what I think is really happening to our seniors vis-a-vis -vis yes. our community and vis-a-vis -vis our society, is that seniors have become so devalued. Mm -hmm. um, and that's part of this, you know, industrial revolution, this industrial techno revolution that we live in. And that is that, you know, we feel that unless you're productive and unless, you know, you're on the, uh, on, on the drafting board of new technology that you really can't contribute. Mm -hmm. And so what we're seeing and what really does concern me, it concerns me in terms of marginalized people, it concerns me around vulnerable people. You know, marginalization is based on value. And, you know, seniors have been, if you will, pushed to the edge as have people with mental health issues, as have people with developmental disabilities, as have people who live in poverty. And it's strikingly sad, it's strikingly sad. So we need to, we need to understand that we have to build value. We, we have to start um, valorizing you know, all people uh, in, our, in our community. So Tom, if you could do the magic wand thing for seniors. What would that look like in your eyes? What, what thing would, would bring to our community better value? I think, again, we have to look at programs and we have to develop leadership that always includes, you know, the continuum of our citizens in all things. Uh, we have to look at in terms of how we can start honoring seniors, how we can take that experience in a very complicated, in a very uncertain world, and use the lessons of those who have... Well, they, they did get here. They did bring here. us here. Precisely. They developed all of and, this. And I'm not right. talking about, you know, in terms of knowledge. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, you know, human civility, human yes. compassion, yes. humility, respect. And in terms of, you know, how, how we 
how we get along with each other. Mm -hmm. and, and I think, you know, that once when we started doing that in programs, formalized programs, in our, in our neighborhoods, mm -hmm. and in a very natural kind of integrative, uh, s connective way that includes all, all, the family. all of us, right? Mm -hmm. Then value increases. And, you know, we kind of diminish what bar marginalization and vulnerability are. And, and I think the status of seniors certainly rises. And I think as a service provider, um, we, we really need to look at how we bring, bring seniors into, you know, um, and develop programs that really build on their leadership, that mm -hmm. extend their leadership. That include them in the planning, just and the way we've been talking right. about it in PEEPIN, is, is and, including and, seniors so they plan their own uh, need effectively so that they can provide their own what they require. To continue to have that voice. They have the to, voice, to they get to, to speak and voice. they be heard. Right. I mean, that's one of the things we've talked about yes. is, is, is being heard. I mean, we all talk about seniors and, and we do it a lot and we, and we forget that, you know, they do have a voice. We need to hear what it is they want and need and they need to be able to tell us that openly. Absolutely. And I think, again, how do we, and we're talking about, you know, intergenerational and I think a very key point. Well, if we translate that into kind of programs or initiatives where youth can spend time, you know, with, mm -hmm. with, with you know, seniors, with the elderly, again, it's the passing of the wisdom, it's the yeah. passing of the torch, it's the both passing ways, of the Both ways, which I think is what's yes. so Absolutely. valuable. That value Absolutely. proposition goes up Absolutely. because I do believe our youth want to have that value with seniors, but they're not being taught and shown or given opportunities yeah. to do that. Well, I think there's just a physical distance now that yeah. we didn't used to be. Correct. We, you know, we don't live with our grandmas. I grew up with my grandma's house, so my grandma was right there. She was part of my life. That's not the case so much anymore as it, as it was, perhaps. You know, and that's a really key point when we talk about value. You know, we need to, we need to find role models for everybody. Yeah. And we need to understand the importance of role models in people's lives in terms of how they build resilience and how they build, you know, vision and, and, and mm. self-confidence and, and worth. And, and I think, you know, this is, we can do that for, you know, the whole strata okay. uh, of, of people, right? But it has to be integrative, it has to be connective, and we have to first and foremost as individuals understand that all people have value. Mm -hmm. And if we really passionately internalize that, then we're going to include people, all people, all very people. differently. Yeah. And then it's not about seniors, it's not about no. youth, it's about I citizens. Understand. Yes, we, we talk about seniors a lot because that's our thing. Yeah. But we certainly recognize definitely that it's so integrated, it's yeah. part of the, they are part of the family, part of the community. That's right. Listen, um, obviously we could talk to you again and we hope you'll come back for sure and share some more about what the pleasure. services does and maybe focus in on some more of the items that, that people would like to Love hear to about. Love to come back. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. Thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you very much. So stay tuned for more of Making Our Seniors Matter.